<laughs> the light. Okay. Hello. Hi. Welcome back to finally again Casa Cozy. Yes, it's been so long and we've been all waiting and I know you guys also have been waiting. We are super excited to continue about well, at least do a little. Yeah, we haven't done, as you know, anything with Casa Cozy for a very, very long time because we've been working with the Mikota clothes. Yeah, we launched last week or yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah on Sunday week, yeah. Yeah. and uh, it's been going really well and I'm super, super happy. And this is the the dark sweater that I'm wearing. Right now I'm wearing size SM, which is perfect, but I also wear ML, so I can wear both. Like this one doesn't cover my fingers and the ML does, so that's kind of the difference. It's a bit, bit smaller, but yeah. Anyways. I really love it. Yeah. I'm, I'm very jealous that they don't have it for men. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, he tried it on the ML, but it looks no. a bit weird. It's yeah, a bit too it's short. Too short for guys. Very, very happy. And I'm very happy about the positive feedback from you who, who got them, that you really like them. And that makes me really, really, really happy. So thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> We've been also traveling for a couple of days, which was absolutely stunning in Austria. Mm, most beautiful place, really. Yes. So amazing. But uh, now we are back finally a bit calm again so now we have yeah one week before Christmas that we are gonna work on Casa Cozy. so today we're gonna show you a little bit how we live now and what we're gonna do and also what we are gonna do in January which are the next steps and what things we are using for the kitchen and bathroom because we already have a lot of those things and uh, yeah and then we're gonna move up so that we can um, make it dirty again down here um, and we don't have to care about our stuff and anyways now we live up and down because we have the bathroom upstairs the kitchen upstairs so it's always this going up and down yeah it's a bit embarrassing sometimes when you go with like the towel up and down and since we don't have the <laughs> stairs inside our apartment yet we have to go out through the um, main staircase but so. the good thing is that we live on the top floor so we only have one neighbor here so let's do it yeah let's show them around absolutely what we did so far which was actually like two months ago, <laughs> was uh, oh, my, <laughs> Don't fall, my, uh, my mom and sister were here visiting for my birthday. So they were really, 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 really working hard and painted all these uh, door frames and window frames uh, white. So now they are nice and clean and they also cleaned up the windows. Not everything, we're gonna have to do that. And then my sister painted all the boards under here in white also. Yes. Uh, not all of them, but most of them. So that we have to continue doing as well. And it is such a huge difference with these, uh, yeah, the freshly painted white uh, door frames, doors, uh, and uh, the so windows. It's, it makes a huge difference. You won't, won't believe it, like the small differences. Yeah. And also what I did was that uh, I painted the white walls a little grayish. It's uh, also from Calc It is the Calc color, and it's a color called Carrera. Because before we thought of only doing the main walls, like the kitchen wall, well, the sofa wall, the kitchen wall, and the bedroom walls. But it looked so beautiful with the Calc color, so we decided to paint all the walls in this very light Carrera color. So it has a bit more structure. So, but I, I didn't manage to do everything we did in the kitchen and I will continue doing the rest of the house but we have to move up because we cannot just live here and paint and do everything we have to do. But yeah, it's beautiful, no? It's hard to see right now but it's, it's a very light, very light grey beige colour. I so love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah and then uh, uh, while uh, painting all the walls and, and you know, we had this whole colour um, time where we were super picky and selecting and stuff and we were always wondering why it is that it is a bit greenish in here. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the walls looked green when, when we painted. So a very weird <laughs> tint, you know, like we as photographers and then with the colors you like, you see the little whatever things and we're wondering what is this? Is the color reacting weird with the wall color that has already been there or whatever? Yeah. Then and we asked the guys from Cafe Tira also, we were like, is the color green? And they were like, no, not at all. Really not. Um, yeah, but then we figured out our windows are green. They are green-blue. They are these old glasses. I mean, I don't know. You can see 
In here a bit, maybe. Yeah, you can't really see it, but if you put a paper on the other side, you see that the paper turns out green. So when we have the light coming in, the whole room just reflects in green. So that is why. So the color is not green, it is just our windows. And I don't know what's worse. <laughs> Well, it is kind of um, <laughs> tragic. No, but we decided anyways, we're gonna upgrade, we're gonna restore, uh, uh, how you say? Well, we're gonna change the windows. Restorate the windows, so... These are anyway super old. We wanna, of course, keep the wooden windows, but kind of bring them up to s standards. So mm. then we'll also be more efficient mm. when it comes to heating and all that. So that's very important. And the window in the back is actually very broken. So there we have to... Um, maybe even change some wood on the frame and stuff. Yeah. But that is also something for, you know, maybe springtime or whatever. Yeah. We've done in here. Exactly. Yeah. We have much more stuff to do before that. Also, if I may say, no, what? we started, because you have seen our floor yeah. and we've been we also wanna... really struggling uh, with the floor and uh, discussing the outcome of it, whether it was a mistake or if it is nice, <laughs> but, um, after time we got used to it and then uh, people told that it's amazing and we actually started loving it. Yeah, I mean, we love it now. Jax was more critical, I loved it oh. um, already earlier. But then uh, we started uh, scratching out the gaps in between the wood. Look here. These gaps are now empty, which, uh, which we didn't do earlier. Now it looks so much cleaner, much, much nicer actually. Yes. Because this is now kind of looks like a finished, uh, this looks like a finished floor. And before it was these little pieces in, be in between and then when we painted it white, these were visible and it just looked dirty and terrible. not Absolutely nice. Terrible. So <laughs> that's, and that is a, it's a really, really hefty work. Um, we go with a, with a screwdriver and uh, I developed kind of a technique, but it really, really hurts in your hands and stuff. So. Ugh. But you this took are six done hours now this room with this yes. and now we only have one more room to do it. Which is the kitchen? Kitchen. You know yes. the kitchen is gonna be here. Uh, we are doing a wooden kitchen, uh, which we're building with the old wood that was in the walls. And uh, this is our dishwasher by the way, who has arrived quite a long time ago, waiting to be opened up and used. And so the thing is we're gonna use wood. We're gonna use, well, have this wall, we're gonna have the tiles, and then we are gonna make a micro cement board, which we are gonna build by ourselves. Uh, <laughs> as well as the rest of the kitchen. As, as well as the rest of the it's, kitchen. It's a, we reuse, we, so, so we will reuse the kitchen that was here, um, the, the compartments and stuff, but we'll of course paint them and, and make, make them stronger and basically upcycle them and construct a new kitchen out of this. And Jax has made a very, very nice plan already, but uh, so we have a very clear idea. But um, the main factor in this whole reconstruction... Is the micro cement. Yeah. Yeah. So this we have had planned since very long. You know, I just can't wait to get started. If you don't know what micro cement is, I don't either. No, I'm just kidding. Can you tell what it is? <laughs> it's a plaster, basically. Um, Jux is the plus, you are the plaster master, so you're gonna be doing this mostly. But uh, it is basically like a concrete that you can work with uh, in a plastering method, and then it, it, you can put it almost on any surface in a two millimeter thick layer, basically. And it's super hard, uh, shock resistant, waterproof, so it's great for wet and uh, all kinds of areas. And it's being used a lot now in bathrooms and so on. And we are working together with Karament. It's a very nice company from Germany. This is how it looks. You get the structured um, uh, uh, surface on the wall or, I mean, and you can of course use it to kind of create and build concrete tables or at least... That's kind of what we're doing. We're like building our own thing now for the kitchen. And then we cut, like, we're doing it in with the, how do you call it, plywood? Yes. Yeah, and then we are covering it with with the micro cement. Exactly. And they have a lot of different colors, but we have been discussing, and we are gonna use which one are we using? The brightest. Yeah, the lightest one. The reason why we're using the super light one. I mean, it's not super super light. 
it still has. I mean, I think it looks very light when it's like this, but when you have it in a bigger scale, it's it's a bit you know, it's a bit darker. Um, so we are using this light one because we are using it in the kitchen on the kitchen board, but we're also using it in a bathroom. And uh, our bathroom is very very small. It doesn't really have a lot of light, so that's why we want to go with as light as possible. And we still want it to be matching with the kitchen. So yeah, it will match very well with the wood, with the tiles, with the color of the wall. And I'm extremely excited to start this project in January, finally, so we can get this kitchen up and also the bathroom. The, the bathroom. bathroom a little bit right now, how yes. it looks like. This is our bathroom. It looks super small. It is super small, but before we had a bathtub and everything inside and it didn't look this small. I think it's just because there's nothing inside. Except a lot of trash. The wood that we're gonna build the kitchen with. Shower in here, shower up there, and then a glass wall opening. The um, sink is gonna be in here with a wooden table that we're gonna build as well. And then the toilet will be here. And up here we are gonna put a window so that we get some light in. And we are of course gonna put a door we don't know what door yet, really, and uh, this will come. But it's gonna be very, very messy when we work here. That's why it's super important to move up. Because before we were gonna put some, some curtains here, you know, something so that the dust wouldn't get in, but it's just gonna be annoying. Walking in and out, it's just better to move up. Um, yeah, then we need the stairs, of course. And we need a glass wall. The glass wall is actually being made right now by Cameron's old neighbor. He's building it for us. And we are gonna go there in January to check it out, see how it goes. And then hopefully, if it's finished, we're gonna bring it back with him and install it here. And then when that's done, we are gonna get a glass guy who can put up all the little windows. So that is very exciting because we actually have no idea really how it's gonna look like, if it's gonna look good, but I hope so. <laughs> because it is quite a big project. So there's a lot of talking today, uh, a lot of explaining, uh, wanted to bring you up to speed and uh, my, some stuff you might have heard already about but uh, yeah that's all these things that have to be done and are in planning and will come for but now, sure. Let's show, let's show the bathroom stuff that oh, we, because we yeah. already have them and what should, should we show them over there Yeah. to get some light. Also we are the post office for the neighbors lately. Our neighbors packages is here but that's nice because then they will also be nice. It's also a good way to get to know the neighbors because they always come. Okay, let's do it. We are using all our bath things like the sink, the shower, the toilet. Everything comes from Valone, who specializes in bathroom design. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you now what we have and what we will install. Let's see, this is the sink, which looks like this. It's made of velvet stone, a natural product, quite thin but very stable. And this we will have on our wooden little cupboard. Uh, but yeah, it's beautiful, right? And here we're gonna have a black little bing bing. Yeah, so here are the smaller pieces. They have really beautiful packages, right? I really like them. So they come like this, all the things that we need. Uh, I don't have to show you all the things because it's of course some some stuff that are inside the walls. Hand shower in black, Nero. It will be like this, and you can put this in like this. Oop. This will be in here, like that. Then we have here this little guy. I love it. A little handle, and this we will have two of these in the showers and one by the sink. The top. It goes, you know, like this in the wall and then you can wash your hands here. I think it's gonna be super nice with the micro cement, the grey micro cement and then all the wood. And then something that I really like. Yes, here we go. I absolutely love the boxes. This one goes into the wall, this one goes in here and this is a rain shower. shower, a rain shower. Yes, and for the bathroom, we are working together with Valona. We love the products. Yeah. I think it's we, we, absolutely on point. I'm really excited to build this too. This is going to be really fun, exactly. Yeah. When, when all these things come to life, then actually we're going to get 
you know, some visible changes in our Yeah, exactly. Cover. It's time for that now. And I really want to have a bathroom down here. <laughs> yes. Be prepared for a big mess. Really, like this is absolutely, it's very messy. We, it was messier, we have cleaned up a lot. But this is our little top floor with our kitchen and yeah, storage kind of. Yeah. So this is our little kitchen that we're using. We put actually the washing machine in here and the cupboard over there will go down into the kitchen. So we swapped these since uh, the washing machine was downstairs before. More storage in our actual kitchen and we don't have the noise and hustle of the washing machine down there. So yes. Perfect. But yeah, so this is where we are gonna try to move up today. So you see, we have a little bit to do still. We have to kind of empty this room. Uh, take down all the kitchen stuff that are here that Clemens has been building on. This has yeah. to go down. And then we're gonna put the bed and the sofa and just live here. What we have done yeah. is already the curtain behind the wood, behind the beams. I mean, these are old curtains that we had in our old apartment. We so are gonna put uh, probably one color later when we make, like, we're gonna fix here also, but that will be next year. Uh, that's not our priority right now, but it's still quite cute. And behind here, we have all the wardrobe and everything. Yeah, it's pretty big office storage. So you can kind of uh, hide everything. It's perfect. Here we have Clement's wardrobe. Here we have shoes and some working stuff. Suitcases and everything. Yeah, but it's, it's a great... Uh, it's a great way to have a lot of storage, but to keep it out and hide it a little bit. Yes, and also we have uh, this podest here, of course, the little platform, which has uh, compartments, and there are also boxes. So that's a good way to get rid of stuff. Yeah, here we have all my decoration things, um, which we will unpack when we are done. So, But I can't wait to put all this up again. Anyways, this will happen later, but this is where we're gonna live. It's cozy, right? Small, it's like a little studio apartment. Time to clean up here, or to bring down uh, the kitchen and all the tools and building materials. the kitchen and we took up our bed, sofa. So this is where we are gonna live now for next year. <laughs> well, I don't hope for the next year. No, at but also we are- Until the next year, at least. Yeah, but it's nice when we come back after Christmas and New Year's, we at least come here and we are like completely done. So we can just continue building downstairs. But this is actually really cozy. We still have boxes, but these are more decoration you know, stuff that we're gonna put up. I love it. Mm -hmm. I think it looks very, very nice. That's it. More soon. Very soon.